Hello and welcome back to Wallywood Wargaming. I thought it was about time that I did another just very quick video. Um, I do these when um, stuff comes out on the Warhammer community and this one's for Necromunda of course. So um, we're looking at the Sanctioner Pattern Automaton which is an Ogryn sized dreadnought violently enforcing Lord Helmore's peace. So this has kind of come out of nowhere for those of you that follow Necromunda and the current lore. Of course, we've got the um, Aranthian Succession or whatever it's called going on right now. And we've got um, the next book due to be out soon. Um, this one, you know, has kind of um, come out of nowhere for me. Um, I don't actually own a copy of the Cinderac Burning book. Um, so I can't actually tell if this is in it or not. I don't think it is, though. Um, but the rules for an enforcer um, automata, basically, are, are here. Um, coming up in the next book. Um, we haven't got them on the Warhammer community, but we have got the the model, um, which has been previewed here. Um, now, I thought I'd just go through what the Warhammer community is saying about this, this particular piece. Um, it's basically a brute for enforcers, so if you play enforcers, um, then this is a new brute for you by the looks of it. And um, it looks like it's um, fairly large as well. So it says that it's Ogryn sized, but quite frankly, it looks bigger than an Ogryn. I would say um, almost bigger than an Ambot by the looks of it as well. Stands taller anyway. But let's have a quick look at the actual um, the, the description here. So it does say Necromunda is revolting. And on top of that, its population is rebelling against the great house Helmore, imperial ruler of Necromunda. Lord Helmore is at death's door and his murderous daughter Hera seeks to succeed him through bloodshed. Meanwhile, Cinderac burns and the mysterious Lady Credo's rebellion gathers momentum. But the authorities aren't finished yet and the Imperial House is rallying in forces to its cause in the millions, forming an entire army of jackbooted thugs to put the rebellion down. But with this many scoff laws in open insurrection, regular assault rounds and concussion rifles just won't cut it. What you need is a fleet of semi-sentient servo automata piloted by the psycho-conditioned transplanted brains of especially fanatical enforcers. You need the Sanctioner. So this is what we've got here. We've got the Sanctioner, like I said, for enforcers. And it has been implanted with the brain of a particularly sort of, uh, I suppose, uh, cop-like enforcer. Um, so uh, it's, it kind of reminds me of Robocop, actually. Obviously, you've got a lot of um, references to Ed 209 and some of the other robots in Robocop, but I think it was Robocop 2, maybe, was it? I think it was 2 or the first one, I can't remember, but one of the one of the bad robots has its brain implanted into a robot, or one of the characters does, um, and this is basically it. So it looks kind of similar, actually, as well. Um, but it looks like we're getting a plastic kit here, which is pretty cool. Of course, the Ambots do come in a plastic kit as well, as the Ogrins do as well. Um, so this is this is looking like a good one. But um, what do we think about the the, the models here? Um, now, what does it say here again? It says, known as Lawtometer by a surprisingly witty populace. Very funny. These armed and armoured constructs are protected by thick carapace armour and wield much larger versions of regular enforcer weapons, concussion cannons, heavy shock batons and no less than five types of grenade. Not only are these brutes tough enough to take down, they become a self-repairing mobile bulwark that counts as full cover, which is pretty cool. So you can hide behind it and get full cover with your enforcers. Um, but who needs the Adeptus Arbites when you've got a Sanctioner? Um, obviously that's in reference to the new Arbite kill team that we've got there, which I'm hoping doesn't make the crossover to Necromunda because I'm not in that camp, I'm afraid. Sorry to disappoint you, but anyway, we've got two in the box by the looks of it. They are plastic kits, they're not Forge World, which is awesome. Um, and they look roughly the same size as the Ogrins and the um, Ambots, but I've got a feeling they're probably going to be slightly bigger. Uh, I imagine it will be around the same price as well, but um, so if you live in Australia or New Zealand, it's going to be very expensive. Um, but plastic is a lot cheaper than resin, of course, especially down here. Um, but let's have a look at the weapons and the overall look of it. I do think there's um, obviously a lot of it looks like cross between Admech stuff and actual sort of dreadnoughts. The hips and leg sections with those little um, sort of cog coggy bits on them definitely are reminiscent of the... Um, sort of stealth dreadnought that you get in 40k I believe um, in fact the Redemptors as well have I think have those sort of similar sort of hip joints um, but the arms and the heads and the shoulders are quite different um, they look more reminiscent of a, a Titan I suppose um, so they, they've got lots of different sort of aesthetics going on at once here um, but lots of nice rounded shapes um, which I quite like as well I particularly do like the shoulders actually and the sort of searchlights embedded in there as well 
uh, look really, really cool. I'm not sure about the big sort of hands and I'm not sure about the legs and the feet personally. I know that a lot of people have been talking about how the how they just look too static and they don't look like they're really moving or could move even. I kind of agree with that, I think, but um, it's worth waiting and seeing when I actually get hold of these. I do think they don't look nearly as sort of cool and poseable as the Ambots, the two Ambots that you get um, prior to this. But um, looking at the weapons here, we've got what looks like a sort of power fist. Uh, I imagine it is going to be some sort of power fist or a servo claw of some sort. We've also got some big grabby man grabber thing there as well, like a pneumatic man neck grabber arresting machine with what looks like a web gun barrel attached over the top of it, which would make sense actually. And that's pretty cool. So we've got, I think it probably is a web gun or a web cannon of sorts with a sort of man catcher attached to it, which is really, really cool. That's probably the, the, the most interesting one for me. Below that on the bottom left there, we've got a concussion or a heavy concussion cannon. Um, now I really like concussion weapons. I think concussion carbines and um, heavy concussion rams are fantastic, particularly the heavy concussion ram actually. It's an excellent heavy weapon for only what, 70 credits or something. Um, and then we've got a, um, a shock stave next to that or at least a very giant shock stave, which would be pretty cool. Um, so a bit more close combat action there as well. And probably a bit of versatile too, uh, while you're at it. But yeah, um, I'm kind of, you know, this has just come out of nowhere, I suppose. And um, I'm sure these, these happen, uh, these things. Um, but um, yeah, totally didn't expect this one. It's a nice, pleasant surprise for Necromunda. Um, and I'd really like to know what you think of these guys. Will you be buying them? Uh, will you be absolutely missing them? I'm not really sure. I, I really need to see them up close and personal, but I think um, overall I'm kind of a fan of them. I like the idea of it. Um, I do think that a dedicated brute for Enforcers is definitely something that's been missing. And I do feel like Enforcers have kind of fallen behind a little bit. I've been playing Bad Zone Enforcers in this uh, current campaign here in Melbourne, um, and they do feel like they're missing something. I did give them an ambot, but it just doesn't quite fit perfectly. So this thing is definitely... From a fluff perspective, I'm going to fit really nicely here. So I'm looking forward to um, seeing what the actual rules are when the uh, next book comes out. Anyway, that's it for now. I just thought I'd um, do a quick vid on that one. Um, but do please like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.